what is up welcome back to a week in my life vlog it's brooke and yeah welcome clearly we need to clean things up in this kitchen i just was so like invested and needed to finish this book and i just did so i just want to talk about it really quick before we start luckiest girl alive by jessica knoll i finished this in like two or three days just because i really liked it it's one of those that like really got me from the start great thriller hated the ending i heard a lot of people talking about this because it's going to be a movie on netflix in like a month or so so i was like all right i'll get it in before and i really would recommend this is like it had a lot of the elements of a book that i like like thriller but still tied in like modern day new york city but then it like went back to kind of explain things from her past i really liked it i just hated the ending i'm so upset about it but beyond that, it was good, so I have to recommend. I'm wearing my cute Skims dress this morning, and I've just been lounging around, reading, I did a few things, and I vlogged a little bit this weekend, but I just don't like the way the footage came out. I just don't think it was a good portrayal of me. I was in like a weird headspace, and we're gonna be in a good one this week. Like, I just wanted to kind of start anew. Let's start a week in my life vlog. I'm gonna take a quick shower now and get ready for the day. This was like my loungy, like morning look. I have some PR and things that I need to put away. This is a bunch of stuff from Tarte. They sent me like so many holiday items. I definitely want to do a giveaway or something. So I need to figure out what the best method is for that. Clean up and yeah. There we got the stuff. Walking home. for my walk home. I decided I'm gonna walk home and then I have a pedicure appointment. So yeah, got my picks. We're good. Okay, I literally just came home to change into flip-flops and to grab my book that finally came in the mail, I'm gonna read Jeanette McCarty's memoir. I'm excited about that. So let's go get a pedicure and then I have to come home and do a bunch of work. I like barely fed myself today, which is not good. I don't advise doing this. I'm so bad like that because then I'll just get like ferociously hungry. I'm having some cotton candy grapes. You know, the first grape of the cotton candy grapes, the first like two, they taste like cotton candy. Then they stop. And then they just taste like normal grapes and they're like $10 and it's a little, a little absurd, but I still keep going. I am going to call Mariah and order some ramen for dinner. That's going to be what's next. I'm not going to show you guys my pedicure because I'm not going to show you my feet for free. I still have some tidying up to do actually, but I keep pushing off. Like why? I don't know, but I do. And I got this package from Milk Makeup that I'm excited about. I love the products so, so much and it's new concealers and they say that it's the all over cream concealer weightless and buildable dab swipe blend ai for your skin and i love the shade range we'd love to see it i'm actually getting my makeup done tomorrow which i haven't had my makeup done in a really long time i have like two things for fashion week whatever so i was like all right you know what i'll treat myself i'll get my makeup done even though i've been liking the way i've been doing mine it always is nice to get it done not required by any means but it's been fun, but I will still try to try these. I know Kat, our makeup artist, she loves milk. So I'm gonna order from Ivan Ramen. And yeah, have a really chill night. It's been a chill day. Oh, I got a lot of work done when I just got home. I needed to edit some brand content. I literally just like came home and just like did it. Emails, brand content. I know tomorrow's gonna be kind of like an on the go day. So I was like, all right, I'll just kind of get a little ahead. The best creamer. Okay, hi guys. So this morning I got quickly ready and I went to a consultation for something that I'm not gonna share unless I end up doing it because right now I'm leaning towards no and the way that I normally go with things is that if it's not a F yes, it's a no. So I went to that this morning uptown, walked over to Lenwich, picked up a chicken Caesar wrap for lunch because I haven't really, I had some crackers this morning, but not really a lot. I need to, you know, get better about that. Grilled chicken Caesar wrap. This is, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna say it's the best in the city because I haven't tried enough places, but every time consistently slaps. My building's about to shut my water off for an hour and I really want to wash my face before Kat gets here because, well, I have some time, but Kat is doing my makeup today, cam artistry, I'm so excited before the two events that we have later. Cynthia Rally and Boohoo, but like Kourtney Kardashian's Boohoo line. And I know she's gonna be there and I know they're filming the Hulu documentary today. So it's a big day. That's what I tell myself, even if I'm just a background. I mean, I obviously will be a background, but like, I just hope to maybe appear. That'd be so cool. Look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm gonna eat this in a sec. But first, let's wash our face. I've been whitening my teeth again with crust white strips. I try to do this like once a year, twice a year, and then I use emulsions and stuff to touch up, but just wanted to share that. 
I'm on, I think day four maybe. That's good. Do you want to see this outfit right now? It is so random because I'm just doing comfy until Kat gets here. She's doing Danielle's makeup first and then mine. Yeah. These are from, I think, American Eagle, Cuts Tea. And then my Boston Birkenstocks that I totally could take off, but I've just been wearing them because they're so comfy. I said I'd be wearing them a lot. Oh, I think I maybe already wore them in this vlog. Yeah, I wore them with jeans yesterday. They're great. They're on pre-order on Revolve, so I'll link them below. And in here, this is like me trying to figure out what I'm wearing. These are the two outfits. So this is the Boohoo outfit. It's a red dress. And the cool thing about this line is that it's supposed to be very, like, versatile, so... It has these straps that I will take off because I think I'll like it better just strapless. So it'll just be like a red strapless number. So that's for Boohoo. But first is Cynthia Rally where I'm wearing this gorgeous purple number. And I really wanted to wear one pair of shoes for both because I'm gonna have to change in the bathroom and I don't wanna have to bring too, too much stuff. So I was like thinking of what I'm gonna do. I'll probably just end up doing the white reformation again. And maybe this is why I back. I don't really know. I'm, I'm not like crazy obsessed with that. It's tough because I really wanted to go like full edgy with this look. And do like black shoes and like whatever but then this i want like more girly so it's like uh. okay cat came and did my makeup sorry i didn't vlog uh we were really just catching up this is the first fit from cynthia rally i love it it is so cute it's very me and i it's really flattering on the chest which we love she's the cutest dress and so fun i was gonna wear like a statement chunky heel like i showed you guys in steve madden but i just went classic with the white reformation because they're really comfortable and then i'm changing looks into a red dress that I showed you guys for Boohoo. So I just wanted to be cute and comfy. Found like a cupcake right now. Oh, I didn't even show you my makeup. She killed it. She did like a wing. She always does my eyes so good. Makeup, so good. She always does great work. Fashion week, baby, let's go. So we're in the car, guys. This is reminiscent of last year's fashion week in, this, in the car. In the car, on the way. We get there at golden hour. It's so pretty. If it's the same venue as last year, I'm excited. I think it is, if I had to guess. I told Burke I took a fire. I know, Danielle was just feeling crazy. I wish I had another. I'm good, but thank you. Oh, hello, son. Traffic makes me sleepy. You gotta wake up. I'm up. <laughs> We're almost there. Fucking it. Katie looks amazing. Cinderella moment. Hello. They're twinning. Literally two, two peas in a pod. <laughs> they showed up in like the same. Gals on the Go Valentine's Day live show. Yep, so this dress had removable straps. I took them off and I kind of scrunched it up a little. Here, Danielle, do you mind? Let's show everybody what you mean. Ugh, oh, so good. A little ruche. She feels more comfortable in the ruche. Same shoes. So cute. Oh, charcuterie is so cute. We are on the Go, gals. The makeup looks so good with this. You need to go on a date after this. guys i just showered i'm gonna wait for my hair to dry a little more and then blow dry it and then i'm heading home today not for the night or anything but i'm going back to long island i have a few things i need to do so i was like hey i'll go home for the day get them taken care of and i have things to bring home so yeah you'll come back to long island with me last night was fabulous what an evening we saw courtney in person and travis the show was awesome the cynthia show was awesome and it was a really good time and that was a wrap on fashion week and i'm glad i didn't even do that much but it's just a lot mentally if you watch the last vlog anyways okay we're in the car we have it all loaded up i've got clothes some pr just stuff like that and we're headed home there's gonna be some traffic there always is i haven't been home in a minute since like over 
well over the maybe a fourth of july weekend <laughs> it's been a minute i've seen my parents since then but in the city only my dad's around today my mom's like literally in pennsylvania for work but i'm seeing them next week so it's not even about that i have to get some mail and do some tax stuff so and bring the stuff home there was like things i needed to do that i was just like all right i'll run like my errands today whatever so yeah let's go home i've been home it's three o'clock i did everything i needed to do i didn't even show you guys anything because there's really nothing to show i just did some tax stuff i had a bunch of mail that i needed to open and go through dropped off everything that i brought home that's pretty much my day it's always the stuff that i like push off and i'm like oh, i really don't want to do and then like you do it and you feel so good so happy that's over I'm trying to think what i need to do now I was gonna get a coffee it's like like i said three o'clock maybe like a cake pop i'm feeling something sweet and then um i think i'm driving to ben's gonna hang out there i brought my book because i'm going to read i i really just started this book i showed it to you in this video but the i'm so glad my mom died book by jeanette mccurdy it's the first non-fiction book i've read in a while i'll let you guys know on that i really like i've read like only a few pages and i brought my computer and stuff so i can get some work done there did i even show you guys my outfit today super casual i wear this graphic tee all the time it's from wrangler and the reason why i wear it all the time i like the uh like i think it's cute but also it's really soft i love a good soft graphic tee i just ordered a bunch more uh cuts shirts because i only got a few colors the first time and i was like i want to have this shirt in every single color i keep thinking this is a person but it's my reflection <laughs> scary okay let's head out like every businessman ever is stopping at the starbucks on the way home i don't i guess that that's what they do i got a cake pop look how cute it is it's a little owl one two three mm. three I haven't had a cake pop in so long. It really is so good. And I got my typical venti cold brew, pumpkin cream cold foam, no vanilla in the drink. And instead I do two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. I had a sweet craving. Okay, I'm at Ben's apartment right now. He is not here, he is in class. Finishing up for the day. He is in school, if you guys didn't know. One thing about me is that I know that I really, really like someone when I go above and beyond to like do things for someone. Like I barely want to clean my own apartment, but I just came here and started cleaning everything up not that it was like super messy but just putting things away like you know doing like the dishwasher whatever like who am i i, I just saw someone talk about this i forget what it was but it was like when you catch yourself like in love you start doing all of these things for someone and it's like what the hell not that i consider myself a selfish person at all like i i think that i do a lot for my friends and family and people i care about but it's weird when you catch yourself i don't know how to explain this but this is my first time my first like relationship first time like being in love whatever so it's weird to catch myself like doing these things and i'm like oh my god this is crazy like i'm not even this nice to myself i am but like not above and beyond like the, i don't know i need to know who's just talking about this i swear i just like listened to a podcast or watched a like a TikTok on it or something. I have just been sitting here getting some computer work done, hanging out. Oh, I'm actually about to put in my crest white strips for the tip of the day. I told you guys I'm doing that. So I'm about to, like, you're not supposed to like really brush your teeth before you put them in. I'm pretty sure, where did I just put the? Yeah, you're not supposed to brush your teeth first or anything. So I'm not going to, you know, I was going to, but no. I'm actually working with Crest again right now. I work with them like you know, a few times a year, typically. It's never consist like, the thing with like working with companies is that unless it's like a long-term partnership, I never know like when it's coming or whatever. So in this case, they tend to reach out, I would say a few times a year, but I never know that it's like coming. I haven't been doing a ton of like long-term partnerships, which I really like to do. That's what I prefer to do versus like the one-off things, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. Just a little insight into the biz world of it all. So put it on like so. I'm doing this now so that I can eat dinner later. It's like 6.45 right now. Ta-da, there we go. And I leave these, I just do a timer on my phone for 45 minutes, take them off when I don't brush my teeth immediately after. I usually will wait like an hour or so, but you can drink water with the strips in and like immediately after and whatever. I already feel like I had pretty white teeth. These are gonna bring it to that next level, truly. Crest is not sponsoring this video, by the way. I feel like I have to say that. I'm working with them on Instagram, but like like they sent the box to my house. It was like, oh, beautiful. I needed more strips anyways. So of course I'm gonna do it. Hi guys, good morning, happy Thursday. This morning I came home and I just got right to work. I'm going to a very exciting event next Monday. And with that being said, there's a lot of like prep and things that need to be done for it. Not only like the outfit, whatever, but um, planning for sort of like the content around that and also just collecting things. I don't want to like say it. I'm sure maybe you could guess what it is, but it's a really big deal for me. And I'm really excited about it. I had my coffee. I had some breakfast potatoes from Trader Joe's. In a little bit, I'm going to head off to Viv Vivrel. I'm going to swap out my purses and hopefully get a bag for the event on Monday. And then we are recording the podcast. So good stuff all around. I hope you guys are having a great day, not just a good day.
Then I come in, I'm like, I have so much to do. And Danielle's just sitting here peacefully listening to music. Calm. No, so calm. I'm like, you know, she should, not that you should be stressed, but you have more on your agenda than I do. So I was telling Brooke, I'm literally so stressed that I can't even express it anymore. If that I'm makes so sense. Sorry. No, it's no, a busy it's fine. Week. It's literally all good stress. Like, yes, it's positive things. Next month, I'm gonna be like, I'm so bored. <laughs> like, <laughs> the circle of Danielle's life. I realized I needed to show you guys my gorgeous Vivrell picks. So I got two purses, renting them. This first one is from Fendi. I really like it. It's like structured. I like the fact that it has the long chain and the shorter one, or you could even wear it like halfsies like this. Very chic. I think I might wear it tomorrow. We'll see. This one is going to be for my look for Monday. I love it. It's a little sequin number. I just think it's really cute. At first when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's kind of giving like costume dress up, but I, I, I see the vision for it. And I think it's really cute. And it actually fits like, it will fit like my lip gloss, my phone, my wallet. Like it fits a good amount. Cute, right? So those are the purses that I'm renting right now through Vivrell. I went to Balthazar before too. I don't even know if you guys saw, but I got an iced oat latte and I got a croissant thought I was getting a plain croissant, but it's, I don't even know what's on it, but I always get nervous whenever it's like other stuff. Cause I know that it's usually nuts and I'm just, I convince myself that it's peanuts. So I'm going to find someone to give that to. <laughs> Maybe I'll send it over with Danielle, I'll have her give it to her friends. And we had a great recording. I really like that episode. It's very fall vibe. So listen when it comes out next Wednesday, I'm a little backed up on videos actually. So I'm like really close to the time that I'm uploading this again which I didn't want to do, but it, it happens. Comfy outfit today. I don't even know if I ever showed you guys, but mad happy sweatshirt, same jeans that I've been wearing the Citizens of Humanity, and my Birkenstocks. And I have a good amount of stuff to do at home, computer of it all. Might stop at like a store on the way home, maybe an outfit for tomorrow, we'll see, I don't know. Guys, there's a food festival that we just so happened to walk through. This is so exciting. We love when this happens. There's so much good stuff. There was corn that I might, I wanted, but, oh, look at this, so cute. Yeah, New York is so cool. You just stumble upon a street fair. Do you have any fun sunglasses? Oh, Danielle is in her fun sunglasses era. Let's see. Cute. Wow, look at the fried Oreos. Yum. So fun. They just have like all sorts of drinks and things. It's corn. It's corn. <laughs> corn for a walk home. We're literally just walking home with corn. I was craving this yesterday, actually. So, you know. I fucking love corn. No, actually, one thing about us. We like corn. We're really random. <laughs> we just recorded a fall episode. We're feeling fall. You're so right. We're yeah. feeling harvesty. At home, I changed into this little fit. I just threw it on. I need to button it from Princess Polly. And I got a bunch of cute stuff from them. I'm going to be working with them. I am super excited. I have my whitening strips in. I'm about to wash my face. My face is so dry. I really want to lather up with the lotion. Here's the pile of stuff I got. I'm like procrastinating putting it away for some reason. I don't know why. But how cute are these sunglasses too? I like it. Great podcast recording. It's just everything feels a bit messy right now. As you can tell, kind of uh, need a, a big cleanup in here. Clean up an aisle, whatever, before the weekend. It's a gorgeous like sunset into nighttime. I wanna watch something relaxing on TV, maybe Gilmore Girls or something. Just feels like my brain is like going, going, <laughs> and I wanna relax. Guys, I made a Trader Joe's flatbread for dinner. Gorge. I was gonna order food and I was like, you know what, Brooke, no, you have food. You just have to heat it up. It's that easy. It's the little things. I'm so hungry. It's the mushroom uh, truffle flatbread. It's so good. Mm -hmm. 